Hi, this is John from Chicago and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you 10 tiny whoops, uh, the best 10 tiny whoops that I think that are out there right now and I, I am ranking them uh, from 1 to 10. Um, by best, um, I'm deciding to make it uh, being fast, go fast type uh, racing, uh, being able to fly around the house like Nick Burns does in his large house. Uh, which 10 of these would be the best that are out there? Um, so I have the list and this is what my ranking is right now and I'll go over the list. This first one here is the Mobilite 7. Uh, it's one of your newest ones out. It just came out the last month. It's hard to get and it'd be one of the problems is no one will be able to get it this year or very few will. Um, it has, the um, reason I ranked it that is it's lightweight. Uh, the dry weight is um, under 20 grams and it has um, 40 millimeter propellers on a 75 millimeter frame. Uh, because of that it has extremely long flight times. I found that um, with the uh, stock battery, uh, the 650 milliamp hour battery, I was getting 10 minutes of flight times up to 10 minutes inside and if you put a 300 milliamp hour battery in you'll get over um, three minutes of flight. So, and it's fast, it's aerobatic, uh, it has long range. Um, um, the only downsize, uh, downside uh, people are saying is it because of the no canopy on there, you can, uh, maybe if it crashed upside down on a rock, you could uh, break the board. Although I do have a video where you could take a five, $4 canopy and put that on and it'll look just like a standard quad. My next one was the Mobula 6. It's uh, quite similar. They're all the same components, it's just a different frame size and propeller size. It uh, doesn't have quite as long of flight times. Uh, I would say uh, I'm surprised how well the Mobile 7 flies inside. Um, so um, the two are pretty equal otherwise. Um, the Mobula 6 was my lit winner from uh, several months ago where I reviewed 12 uh, tiny whoops. That was my highest ranking. Um, it has uh, 25,000 kV motors, so it really chews through the batteries pretty quick. That's the downsize, uh, two minutes or less on uh, hard flying. Uh, but it does have very good aerobatic capabilities, and uh, this is what a lot of people were using last year to win races with. Uh, my next one is the Sheen AE65. Uh, it's similar to the Mobula 6 with newer parts in it. It has the new um, motors that are a gram lighter and it has the um, ant light -like camera which is a little bit better I think uh, viewing wise than the um, Runcam Nano 3. Uh, so and it's a pretty good price. Um, it comes with a six place charger and a power supply four batteries, you could get it for just over $100 from Banggood, so it's a pretty good deal for getting started. Uh, my next one is the Asheen US65 Pro. I rank that as number five. It's one of your faster ones that are out there um, because it's 2S. It has uh, the most, or tied for the most, or the most power of any of these, and it's good at aerobatics. Uh, the downsize is you're fooling around with a second battery to use it as 2S and you need to put a rubber band, uh, rubber band that second battery on the holder wasn't thought out that well. For number six I have the UR UAV UZ65. A lot of people like that when it came out. Um, it has a little bit bigger props on instead of the standard 31 millimeter diameter props it's using a 35 millimeter prop. Gives it longer flight time. Um, and more power for the size of the motors or the props than some of your other 65 millimeters um, frames here, models. Uh, so I gave that my number six. Uh, for number seven, it's, this is the Emax Nighthawk. It's a new one out that just came out a month or so ago. Um, it has a carbon fiber bottom plate uh, that the motors are mounted on and the hoops on there are thinner and less air resistance. As a result, it does better uh, 
aerobatics and most of the models here. It's probably tied or almost tied for the best. Uh, it is slower though. It's in the it's less than midpoint uh, for speed of any of these. Um, so I give this a number seven ranking. The range was not very good either. I think it was one of the lowest uh, for on the range test. Uh, the next one is the Newbie Drone Hummingbird. I thought the quality was quite well, and their, supposedly their customer service is good. It had, but uh, several of the viewers said they had problems with the uh, SPI receiver. It burnt out on them, and their customer service would not get back to them. So uh, the jury's out on that, uh, but it, otherwise it seemed to me it was a good, good built uh, uh, Tiny Whoop. Um, and then my ninth, I have the Meteor 65 from Beta FPV. I moved this up a notch because I had a chance to to review the newer model that's still six months old. Um, and the newer model is a gram lighter at 22 gram dry weight and it's a uh, better camera. They updated the camera and I was able to get better uh, distance by uh, moving the antenna at about a 45 degree angle. Uh, so it, it worked better. This was the Meteor 65 a year ago. That was one of the ones that a lot of the racers used because you couldn't get the Mobula 6 and this with the 22,000 kV motors, it was pretty quick, but it would go through the batteries fairly quick like the Mobula 6. Uh, then the last one, I have the iFlight Alpha A65. Uh, this is the, one of the heavier ones of the group. Um, it has a separate uh, VTX and uh, RX board receiver. I'm using the uh, XM Plus, which is, has great range for the receiver. You won't fail safe it. Uh, what will happen is the video from the VTX, even though it has a higher power rating um, output, it uh, still was not great. I think it was only about 250 meters, which isn't bad, but it's uh, not, it's near the lower end on these. Um, let's see, so you have the 10 of them here. Um, I'm hoping that people will comment and see what order they would rank these on in my comments below. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave those below also. And this is John from Chicago, and thanks for watching.